All right, guys. So in the second video, we're going to take our data from the first video and we're going to discover if there are any outliers. Now outliers, there is a very specific formula to decide if something is an outlier or not. And so you can't just look at the list of numbers and be like, oh yeah, that one looks like it is. I'm going to say it's that one. There is like a, an actual formula, like an official way to decide if something is an outlier. So let's learn what that is. Now, here's all the information that we have from the first video, right? So I had my list of numbers. I found my min, my max, my median, my quartile one, my quartile three, and my inner quartile range. So this is all from that first video. So to decide if you have any outliers in your data, um, you need to see if there is any number that is more than 1.5 times your inner quartile range away from the edges of your box. Now that sounded really weird, but I'm gonna show you what I mean. Okay, so um, it's really the easiest to find outliers on a box and whisker problem, um, but you can find it with any problem. All you have to do, you need to find your quartiles, right? Your quartile one, your median, and your quartile three. And then that's all the information you need to decide if something's an outlier. So after you have found your quartiles, then you're going to find your inner quartile range. We already found that in the first video. It was 84 minus 66, so it was 18. Okay, inner quartile range 18. According to our formula, we need to take our inner quartile range and we have to times it by 1.5. So 1.5 times 18 is 27. All right, so an outlier is any number that is more than 1.5 times my inner quartile range away from the edges of the box. So now I just discovered that 1.5 times the inner quartile range is 27. So what that means is if I start at quartile one, and I go backwards, 27 numbers. If there are any numbers in the data set that are further than that, those would be an outlier, okay? So I started at the 66 and I went to the left, 27 spaces. <laughs> and if I still have numbers, in my data, then those are outliers. Um, you can calculate this. You do 66 minus 27, which is 39. So again, if any number is 39 or smaller, that is an outlier. So more than, smaller than 39. Now we don't have any low outliers on this one um, because my smallest number is 62, so we're good. Now we also need to check that for, we need to check for high outliers. Right. So for the higher outliers, we would start at our quartile three, which is 84. We would go 27 numbers to the right. And if there are still numbers from our data set, then we say that that is an outlier. Um, as far as calculating, right, we can do our quartile three, which is 84, and we would add 87 since we're going to the right, since we want to look for bigger numbers. So uh, 84 plus 27 is 111. So again, that would mean if any of my data was bigger than 111, that would be an outlier. Now my max is 86, so I don't have any high outliers either. On your homework tonight, I will need to see that you calculated where your outliers exist. And then if you decide, like we're deciding in this video that there are no outliers, you can write that there are no outliers, but you do need to answer that question. Okay, so it is possible that there are none, um, but then check and see if there are any. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today.